I be coming in the masjid, and they're like, it's supposed to be in the salah, but they're looking at me, walk by. I'm like, what are you doing? How is that salah? May Allah forgive me. My, my salah ain't perfect, but come on now. Somehow you feel convinced that you don't feel that connected to your salah, that that must mean that you must stop praying completely. That is the dumbest thing in the world. You ever thought that your concern for it is what makes that process of perfecting your salah? Don't you think you're perfecting your salah right now? You just need more opportunities to perfect your salah and your concentration in your salah. It doesn't come overnight. It has to be worked on. Are you working on it? Okay. Way of Life SQ. Keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And today's video is going to be about something that I think we all struggle with. I think that we all to some degree, give or take, feel bad about this and we, we want to improve our lives. I would hope at least, I hope so. Because if you do feel bad about not being able to focus or have khushu in your prayers, then not only is this video for you, but also the fact that you have iman in your heart. Something that is priceless, something that Allah has to place within you. You can't buy iman, you understand? You're, you know, you can't, you, can't, you can't buy this thing. It has to be placed by Allah securely in your heart, securely. If you feel bad for not being able to focus or you want to learn to focus on your salah more, this is the video for you. Here's, here's how you should not approach this, right? Here's the, here's the anti-solution to fixing your, uh, you know, inability to focus in salah. Uh, stop praying. Don't do that. That's stupid. Oh, because somehow you feel convinced that you don't feel that connected to your salah, that that must mean that you must stop praying completely. That is the dumbest thing in the world. I'm sorry. I just have to say that and use that word. I apologize for using the word dumb or stupid, but I hope you could understand why it is a dumb or stupid idea to stop praying if you're unable to focus on your salah, okay? Here's another thing you don't do. You don't uh, beat yourself up. You don't feel bad about yourself to the degree where you're just like, oh, uh, I suck, and the, you know, just cut it out, okay? People, everyone is struggling to perfect their salah, I would hope so at least, okay? Here's what you should do. Replace focusing on salah with just something else for the moment, right? Just, just, just humor me. Okay, just humor me. Replace focusing on salah with another thing that you're trying to perfect, right? You're trying to perfect your salah. I hope so, right? Have you ever thought that maybe your struggle to focus in your salah is what allows you to gain that progress or gain that momentum, perfect your salah. You ever thought of that? You ever thought that your concern for it is what makes that process of perfecting your salah? Don't you think you're perfecting your salah right now by being concerned about the fact that you have no khushu or lacking khushu or concentration? Is it that you lack, you don't have khushu or is it that you're lacking it? Or maybe you can improve the khushu. Maybe you're asking yourself the wrong question. Allah, why do, why do I, why can't I focus on my salah? Well, because of this, because of this, because of this and all these things that you're like, oh, makes you want to give up. No. Ask yourself and ask Allah this, this, this dua. Ask Allah for this dua that, Allah, how can I improve the khushu, the concentration in my salah? Make that dua. And if you made that dua, that's why you're watching this video right now. Ask you to get to the point. Okay. If you, I love basketball. Phoenix Suns are doing good. They're second in the West. I know you see them. But just, just chup. Make dua for them. Make dua for them. Make dua for them. Okay. Let's suppose you're trying to make a layup. Right? And I remember as a kid, trying to make a layout, I'd hit the back of it, I'd feel so discouraged, Ugh, because it's supposed to be the easiest shot, and everyone keeps saying it's the easiest shot, but they don't get it, it's tough, okay, layups are tough, it's a lot of pressure on a kid to make a layup, because it's supposed to be the easiest shot, and you're right underneath the rim, but I think that's the disadvantage, you're under the rim, okay, as you can tell, I have a lot of trauma with layups, okay, let's suppose you're not good at layups, right, are you gonna now, like, to get better at layups, stop making layups, like stop practicing layups. You understand, right? Like you just got to make practice. You just got to keep practice. Pra like I don't, I don't get it. You're chasing this idea of perfection that only belongs to Allah. You got to just keep practicing. I just have no other way. There's, it's a process. Okay, your end goal wants to be to perfect your salah. Okay, I, I respect that. 
Honest to God, I respect that. I appreciate that. I admire that. But how else do you think you're going to get there unless you are struggling to purify your, 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 your nafs, your intentions, your salah? I can tell you this. One thing that could really help you is uh, leaving all your sins, your bad habits, your bad deeds. Leave them. That will help you perfect your salah straight away. Going back to the layup example. The more layups you take, the more practice you have, the more muscle memory you have, right? The more second nature it becomes, the easier it becomes, okay? The only time you practice for your salah is at the time of, you know, your fard salah. It's dhuhr time. But between dhuhr and asr, there's a salah opportunity, isn't there? Some practice salahs, right? That's the training. That's hitting the, hitting the gym. You can hit the gym, just make more salah. In between, read more sunnah prayers. Read more, you know, the nawafil prayers. Read them. Read, read supplicatory prayers. Is that what the word? I don't know what the word is. I don't know. You read more, more voluntary prayers. And read prayers that you don't have to do, but you do from the goodness of your heart. Because that's just more repetition. You understand? That's more layup opportunities. You just need more at-bats. You need more layup opportunities. You just need more opportunities to perfect your salah and your concentration and your salah. It doesn't come overnight. It has to be worked on. Are you working on it? Okay. Memorizing more Quran helps because then your Quran and your salah become linked because you want to practice your memorization in your salah. Even if it's just one verse, you could practice it in your salah. Do you don't think Allah sees that? And Ramadan is coming? God. God, Allah, oh my God, Allah is a shukur. He just appreciates the effort that you're making. The fact that you were watching this video is appreciated because you're trying to get closer to Allah. At least I hope so. I hope I'm bringing the opportunity to you. Recite more Quran. Another common one is, hey, hey, you know what you should do? Listen to the words. Understand what you're saying in your salah. That's very helpful. That's very helpful. But I find that when you start doing one thing for a long time, that in itself loses its concentration. So the key isn't to just keep, you know, doing one thing all the time. It's to switch it up. Maybe doing a few at the same time, but switch it up. Focus on a little bit of memorizing Quran. Then focus a little bit on, you know, you know uh, focusing on uh, the, the translation of what you're saying. Focus on your movements, perfecting your movements. Have you ever thought about that? Have you thought about concentrating? You, you're having trouble concentrating in your salah? It's because you're having trouble concentrating on something in your salah. What are we supposed to look at? The Messenger of Allah is teaching us to look where the part is going to be for the sajud, for the sajda. Look over there, concentrate. I be seeing people, I walk in the masjid, people come in this and they're looking around. I be coming in the masjid and they're like, it's supposed to be in the salah, but they're looking at me, walk by. I'm like, what are you doing? How is that salah? May Allah forgive me. My, my salah ain't perfect, but come on now. Are you one of those people? Cut it out. Cut it out. Start looking, man. Try your best to focus. Focus. Look at that spot. Focus. Concentrate on that. Aren't you concentrating on your salah when you're trying to focus on that? Yes? Don't give up hope. Don't feel bad about yourself. Come on. Concentrate on your breathing. One bonus, this is an advanced tip. Get a little atar, a really nice atar, something that you would really love. And put a little bit on the, the, the prayer mat where you would make the saj sajda. Wallahi, just watch. You're going to want to be in more sa sajuds in that moment. And you're going to be focusing on the breathing. You're going to be thankful. You're going to have gratitude in you. You're going to be making longer du'as. Ramadan is coming up. Start practicing your du'as now. These videos, are, I hope, are working and helping you. Ramadan is coming. Why are you going to wait for Ramadan? You got it. It's a season. It's about to happen. Get ready. I love you guys, really, from the bottom of my heart. I hope these videos help. I hope that this helped you focus uh, or gain more concentration in your salah. Really, really, really from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching this video. And um, I appreciate you all for whoever you are and for all the values that you bring and, and, the, and, and the goodness that you bring to this channel, this community. You're appreciated. You're loved. Uh, you're valued. Um, I make du'a for you. And... and, and and Ramadan is here, and I think that that's going to be a great opportunity for me to connect with you guys more through du'as. Maybe not directly through this, but maybe through more du'as. I love you from the bottom of my heart and for the sake of Allah. Uh, and until next time, I'm out.